system of a down somehow falls under a category of new metal, which is a complete mystery to me, as very little ties this band to new metal. The only connection is the time period that they were active, as I mentioned before in part 2. Their debut self-titled album was released on June 30th, 1998. They had moderate success with this effort. The band toured extensively, opening for Slayer and Metallica. This just shows what kind of sound System of a Down was associated with originally. Later on, they would go on tours with bands such as Fear Factory, Incubus, Slipknot and Rammstein. Being associated with these acts would probably contribute to why System of a Down is related to new metal. The band hit the big time with their second outing, Toxicity, that achieved triple platinum status in the United States and has since sold over 12 million copies worldwide. Oh my goodness, we're looking at a uh, live picture from Washington and there is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. inside the building is exploding right now you got people running up the street Toxicity debuted at number one on the American and Canadian charts, despite the events of September 11. The record was still on top in America during the week of the 9-11 attacks. The political environment caused by the attacks added to the controversy surrounding the album's hit single, Chop Suey. The song was taken off the radio as it contained politically sensitive lyrics. Regardless, the video gained constant play on MTV as did the album's second single Toxicity. Even with the controversy surrounding Chop Suey, which earned a Grammy nomination, System of a Down still received constant airplay in US throughout late 2001 and 2002 with Toxicity and Aerials. When World of New Metal started to fall apart, System of a Down did not have to make changes to their sound, as sonically the band was quite unique. Borrowing from 80s thrash metal and early 90s alternative rock with hints of traditional Armenian motives, the band itself never felt as part of a single genre. Malakian has stated, We don't belong to anyone's scene. I don't like the new metal drop A7 string guitar sound. 
It is not my thing, at least not yet. In interview with Mike Lancaster, he also said, People always seem to feel the need to put us in a category, but we just don't fit into any category. According to Tanikian, as far as arrangement and everything, our music is pretty much pop. To me, System of a Down isn't a progressive band, but it's not a typical pop project, obviously. We definitely pay attention to the music to make sure that it's not something someone's heard before. Besides, System of a Down's firm commitment for the recognition of Armenian genocide emerges in two songs, P-L-U-C-K and Holy Mountains, which rank among the band's most political songs, among others that address their discontent views on wars, criticism of pop culture and drug abuse. These topics were not typically discussed by new metal bands. In late 2001, unreleased tracks from Toxicity Sessions made their way onto the internet. This collection of tracks was dubbed Toxicity 2 by fans. The group released a statement that the tracks were unfinished material and subsequently released the final versions of the songs as their third album, which was released in November 2002. Still, this album failed to repeat the same success as its predecessor, reaching the top 20 only in the US and Australia. Three years later, the group produced a double album, with the two sections released six months apart. It's System of a Down! The first entitled Mesmerize was released in early 2005. It peaked at number one in nine countries and certified triple platinum in Canada, platinum in the US and Australia. Later that year, the group released the second part, Hypnotize. Like its predecessor, the album peaked at number one in the US, Canadian, Finnish and New Zealand charts. System of a Down is the first band since The Beatles to release two chart-topping albums in the US in the same year. Hypnotize was certified platinum in US and gold in Australia, Germany and Switzerland. In 2006 the group went on hiatus and since then all members had begun work on side projects. On November 29, 2010, System of a Down reunited and had been occasionally touring since, but no new music has been released by the band to this day. Even though System of a Down were a fully active band since their debut in 98 for less than a decade, they are held in high regard in rock and metal community. Even if they are somehow associated with new metal, that fails to hinder their impact and reputation.